Welcome back to Science Behind the Beauty. In part one, we examined the efficacy of Oral-B's electric toothbrushes. In part two, we put Ole Regenerist to the test. And now, does head and shoulders really work? And what exactly is dandruff anyway? People don't really like to talk about it, but over 50% of the UK adults actually have dandruff. 50%? Yes, it's very common. What exactly causes it? Dandruff's nothing more than a skin reaction to a microbe called Malicetia that everybody has on their scalp. That skin reaction causes the skin flakes, also the other symptoms that we know of dandruff. And you claim that head and shoulders starts to work from the very first wash? Yes, it does. We actually have over 50 years of research behind us on that. Oh, you look very good on it, I have to say, Renner. <laughs> <laughs> How does it work? Well, head and shoulders shampoo first cleans the hair and scalp by removing the oils that we all produce every day. Then the hydrazine formula... What's that? What's uh, hydrazine? Okay, hydrazine's the technology that delivers the anti-dandruff benefits from the first wash. Then finally, we have care and conditioning ingredients in the product that really deliver softness and shine to the hair. I had no idea that so many people have dandruff. I went to the British Skin Foundation to find out what's going on with the nation's scalps. Well, people forget that the skin of the scalp, like the skin of the rest of the body, needs to be looked after. So what you put onto your scalp and your hair can make a big difference to the health of it? That's exactly right. In fact, Head & Shoulders has done a lot of research into the science behind a healthy scalp. Apparently 50 years. I don't know exactly the number of years, but I do know that the British Skin Foundation has reviewed that research and validated it. To suggest a product you'd like to see me investigate or to watch the show again, log on to sciencebehindthebeauty.com.